Hey guys, Jake here from The Fly Fiend. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to tie up a chartreuse caddis. I'm gonna get a fresh hook in the vise and we'll get right into tying. The hook I'm tying this fly on is a Firehole Sticks 516 in a size 14. I have that paired up with a 3.2 millimeter slotted tungsten bead in copper. The thread I'm gonna be using, UTC 70 denier in chartreuse. I'm going to start my thread on this hook shank. What I like to do is just build up a little dam there behind the back of my bead so my bead isn't rattling around while I'm tying. The first material we're tying in is our tag. For a tag, I'm going to be tying in UTC uh, Ultra Yarn. This is in uh, FL Yellow, but it's kind of more of a chartreuse to be honest. So I'm just going to get a little cut off the spool there. I'm just going to tie this in right behind that bead. I like to put tension on this material when I'm tying it in. I'm just going to keep it on top of that hook shank as well. So I'm just going to bring this thread back up, just like so. So I'm going to cut this now. What I like to do is actually uh, rest my the back edge of my scissors on the uh, back of that hook bend right there, and that's where I usually um, cut my tags, just so that it's consistent and uh, all of them are the same. For the body of the fly. I'm going to be using a rib. This is a um, clear UTC round rib. This is a size small. So just like the Antron, I'm just going to cut a little section out here. So what I like to do, I like to capture it right beside that bead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put my nail into the actual rib. I'm gonna try to stretch this out a bit while I'm tying it in on the side. It's gonna keep it nice and slim. Then just bring my thread back up, just like so. Now I can grab this body material Just make touching wraps, creating this segmented body. Come under with my thread, capture that, and then I can cut that out. So for the actual thorax, uh, you can use a um, rabbit. I use a black rabbit a lot, but lately I've been using um, ice dub. This is a black peacock. I'm using this on a lot of my caddis patterns lately, and I really like it. So I'm just going to build up a little thorax there. Just something for my CDC to sit on as well, so it's not laying flat on the body. This kind of props it up a bit. For the CDC, I'm going to be using some shore fishing uh, CDC. This is uh, dyed uh, chartreuse. So I'm just going to grab one of the pack here. I'm just going to prep it, pull a few of those fibers back so I have a little triangle. And I can secure that right in front of that little dubbing bump I made. Grab my hackle pliers here. Gently pull that up. Just 
Make one, one and a half wraps there. Try to keep it nice and sparse. Like that. I can come under, cut that stem out. What I like to do actually here is I'm gonna put my fingers together, I'm gonna pull it all back. And that's just gonna make sure everything's laying back nicely. I'm gonna grab a another little pinch of this uh, dubbing. I'm gonna put a nice little slender noodle on there. I'm just gonna build up the rest of that thorax. Another pinch more. You can grab your whip finish tool, throw a nice six term whip finish there, and cut it all out, and you're set. So I've been fishing these lately um, for steelhead, so I've been fishing them in bigger sizes, 14, 12, um, just because the water's a little bit dirtier right now, and uh, this this uh, this caddis pattern is more of kind of like a tractor. Um, it's awesome for high dirty water, even off color tint water. Um, tie a few up, you can tie them from 18 all the way up to a 10, and uh, yeah, just have fun with it, let me know how you guys make out with them. If you like today's tutorial, uh, drop a uh, thumbs up on the video. Um, if you have any questions uh, about the fly or any of the materials, uh, you can drop that down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, thanks a lot again for watching guys, and we'll catch you in the next tutorial.